Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I'm sharing with you an outdoor decorate with me where I show you how I got our outdoor spaces ready for the summer weather. We have lots of cleaning and flower planting to do, so I hope that you are excited to see this process. I'll also be showing you a fun project we did on our front porch area and adding a glass insert to our front door. So if you are excited for today's video, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. For our back patio, I'm starting with this big pot that I got from Lowe's and my little niece is gonna be my helper today. We had so much fun planting a bunch of flowers. So I have never planted flowers before. This is the first year that I'm trying my hand at it. So if I'm doing something wrong, let me know in the comments down below. My little niece did give me some pointers that her mom had told her. So when we took the flowers out of the pot it came in, she told me to kind of break up the roots. So I did do that to my best abilities. But again, let me know if I am doing this wrong or not. I don't know if any of these plants and flowers that we planted are going to survive but we did have fun planting this and I do plan on adding another pot right next to this which you guys will see in the final reveal of this area. Now because I am a total newbie to planting flowers I have no idea what any of these are called. I did make sure that these were full sun flowers though because this is in the sun all day long and we also picked up some smaller plants and flowers as well my little niece loves snapdragons so we found one at lowe's and it did look a little bit rough but i'm hoping that it'll stay alive and come back to life i love this little market fresh flowers pot that we got from hobby lobby that i showed in my previous video we did do some moving around here which you guys will see to see which plants and flowers fit in which pot the best again not sure if that was the best idea or not but i'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments down below i am definitely excited to try to keep these alive and in the future if i have success at it i will definitely get more for next summer. Our covered patio was absolutely disgusting so I am going through and I'm going to power wash all of this area to get all of the dirt off of it. This did take quite some time and I'm no professional at power washing but it definitely looked a lot better when I was done with it. I removed all of our furniture on here and I'm also going to be power washing our egg chair cushions, which you guys will see here shortly, just to get a really nice clean slate to put all of the furniture back on here. This is the easiest way I've found to clean off our egg chair cushions. It gets very dirty in the winter months. It is under our covered patio and we don't have a cover for it, but it always cleans up pretty nicely, so I don't really find the need to get a cover. We did get our egg chair from Walmart and I've been so happy with it. We've had it for three or four years now, I believe, and it's one of my favorite purchases I've made from Walmart. So if you have been looking for an egg chair, I highly recommend getting one. It's such a game changer in the summertime. You can sit outside and read a book or just lounge around. I believe I got these chairs, cushions, and the matching table at Target as well. They're not available anymore, but I will try to link something similar if I can find something. So make sure to check the description box because I will link everything that I can as always down there for you. Once we have everything power washed and dried, I'm going to start adding things back to our covered patio. We got this rug from Amazon years ago. I know they have one very similar at Walmart as well. 
very affordable and it is an outdoor rug and it's held up really well so I'd highly recommend it if you are looking for a good durable outdoor rug. We DIY'd this black table that I have next to my egg chair last year. I think I scored it for like five or ten dollars from a garage sale and I just spray painted it black. I will leave last year's patio makeover linked in the description box down below if you'd like to see it. This summer vibes pillow is from Kirkland's. I've had this for three to four years, which I'm sure you can tell because the sun has faded it quite a bit, but I just haven't found the need to get a new one. And then adding some of these pots that I put some floral in and then I also used a faux greenery plant as well. I was totally not recording this part, you could not see it, but I put these two lanterns down below as well. And then over on my table I'm putting two more pots that we planted some pretty flowers in. Now that I'm done showing you our covered patio area, I'm going to show you our pergola that we got from Guardi Soul. I have shown this on my Instagram a few times and I always get so many questions, so I thought I would share it with you. We did this over a year ago and we have been loving it so much. I could not be happier with it. They do have two different colors on Amazon, matte black and white. And we did get the 10 by 13, but they also have a 10 by 10 and a 10 by 20. When we put this together, we had our nice neighbors come over and help my husband. There was three of them, and I would definitely recommend having at least two to three people when putting this together. It did take us less than a day, so you can definitely do this in a day project. One of the things that sold us on this pergola is the fact that it has a louver system, so you can actually open and close the roof on this pergola so if you do want to have complete shade you can go ahead and close it or say it's raining or something it gives you that nice protection this pergola does have an integrated drainage system so the rain will be diverted through the integrated gutter system and posts now because it is very windy where we live we reached out to our landscape company and we hired them to get some anchors into our paver patio to make sure that this pergola was nice and secure the pergola has a powder coated aluminum frame and steel louvers. The pergola is sturdy, rust, and corrosion resistant that lasts for years of usage. This has become one of our favorite areas to hang out in the summertime with our friends. So if you've been looking for a great pergola, definitely check out the link in the description. Thank you so much to Guardi Soul for sending us this great pergola and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Moving over to our front porch area. If you were here last year, then you saw I took my hand at keeping ferns alive and I was successful at it. I got these at Walmart for $14.88. The price surprisingly had not changed since last year. Now, I don't know how well these are going to do this year. They are looking like they're kind of struggling so far, but we shall see. These planters are also from Walmart. They are the Pottery Barn dupes and I am loving them. The way that I'm going about putting in the topsoil is I'm taking the plastic pot that the ferns came in, I'm flipping it upside down, and then I'm adding some more potting mix in there. When I was at Walmart getting these, the lady in the garden section was telling me this idea of putting in the plastic pot that it came in to not have to put in so much potting mix and it also helps with the draining as well. So that is what I did. So we shall see how that works.
Now I'm going to show you a fun little DIY that we did to transform our front door. So our entryway has always been really dark, which we have never liked. So when Peace Doors reached out to me, I absolutely knew that this was the perfect solution to our problem. So we're going to be using one of their glass inserts and we're going to be cutting out a giant hole in our front door. This was definitely one of the most intimidating projects that we've done just because obviously now we have a giant hole in our front door if we mess it up we were gonna be in big trouble, but we were very happy that it did work out and we don't have a massive hole in our door, but we have a brand new glass insert. It was very easy to do. I have a tutorial over on my Instagram. If you are interested, pretty much the gist of it is you cut a giant hole in your door by drilling four holes on each side using a jigsaw to cut out the hole, reattach it back to the hinges, and then put in the glass insert. And you just secure that by some screws on the back of the door. So very simple and we could not be happier with it. Like I said, I will have the exact glass insert that we used in the description box down below. We also did have to paint the glass insert or the pane around it, I guess I should say, to match our front door, which that was pretty simple as well. So you'll have to let me know what you think of it and if you would do this at your house in the comments down below. To finish up this video, I'm just going to decorate our front porch area. So I'm just going to add this rug I got from Hobby Lobby on sale. I believe it was under $10. Our front doormat is from Kirkland's. I love it. It says, no need to knock. We know you're here, the dogs, which is so true in our house. And then taking these topiary trees from Big Lots that I got a few years ago to finish off the front door area. Moving our ferns to the position that I want them in and then I'm going to give them a nice little spray of water. I'm also going to be adding this cute flower arrangement that my mom got for me and I'm going to be putting that on the table in between our rocking chairs and that is going to complete this area. You will have to let me know what you think of this outdoor makeover at our house. Let me know what your favorite part of today's video was. And also let me know if you have any tips for keeping plants and flowers alive. I would love all of the advice that you guys can give me down below. Thank you guys so much for being here for today's video. If you're not already, please make sure to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.